The Singapore law is that passengers below 1.35 metres, which is tall, that's this tall, okay? Um, and it's typically around eight to 10 years old, must use an approved child restraint. Approved means um, they, uh, Singapore Traffic Police recognise five different certifying bodies, um, Europe, Australia, the US, Britain and Japan. Their bodies are smaller and so the seatbelt doesn't sit on really good positions with the children. The second thing is that children's skeletons are really different. They're in growth mode. We talked a little bit about the start um, that um, children's skeletons are a lot more porous. <clears throat> the adult skeleton's got about 206 bones um, and the a child skeleton's closer to 300. Okay? Um, and that's because um, where bones in us, like our, our our sacrum, for instance. Our sacrum is the tailbone part here, sort of the wedges into the center of the pelvis. Um, for us, that's a single bone. For children, that's five bones. Okay, you can see in their vertebra here, this is three bones for a one-year-old, and then it, it ossifies into a single bone for a six-year-old. Okay, children's bones are more are more elastic, more plastic, um, more flexible, and their bodies in general have a lot more cartilage than ours do. Also, the iliac crest on a pelvis, on a pelvis which at the front of your hips here, that's where the adult seatbelt sits when you and I use the adult seatbelt. That part of the pelvis doesn't exist as bone in a child's skeleton, um, actually until they're much closer to 20. But after six, it'll start ossifying from cartilage into bone. Um, and so the seatbelt, when, when children use the adult seatbelt as we do, the belt's either sitting on their tummy or it's sitting on their, um, on their pelvis, which isn't as strong as our pelvis. So when you and I use an adult seatbelt, the, the belt part, the lap part's designed to sit across our pelvis, and that's the strongest part of our body. For children, the strongest part of their body is their upper thigh bones. And so whenever you see any booster seat, that's why it seems to bring the lap belt so far down and you think, shouldn't this really be on their hips? Um, it should actually be on their upper thighs, which is where we want it to be positioned.